All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of our City Zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So my friends, if you missed last episode, it's linked above for you right now. I've got a couple of things I want to talk about before we jump in to today's episode. First and foremost, apologies for this build taking so long to get to you. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but obviously other stuff has to come first. Uh, you all understand that I am, you know, I'm a graphic designer and stuff like that. I, I, I've got my day job. I do have to work from home. Uh, you know, I wasn't feeling too great last week either, so decided to take a couple of days off. Uh, but I finally kind of put the episode together. But I just wanted to apologise basically for there being a little bit of a delay where this episode is concerned. Uh, the other thing is that in today's episode, my friends, we're going to get into the major, uh, you know, the major nuts and bolts, the, the the new build and the new part of the zoo that I've built. But I am also going to be offering up some discussion and I'm also going to be alluding to a poll that I am going to be placing uh, on the community page at the same time as this episode is going out so make sure you listen in for that in today's episode as you all know in the bottom it's all time stamped anyway so you can skip ahead and move to the bits that you want to listen to uh, but my friends let's get into this i've been doing lots and lots of work let's take a look so here we are my friends we are back in tropical wing zoo i like to kind of start at the entrance because it keeps everything a bit of a mystery but we are going to move away from here very very quickly now i do just want to throw out there my friends uh, I'm not going to be showcasing any animals in today's episode, but we are going to be talking about animals. I know that in the last few episodes, I've kind of been talking about, you know, the African area. I've been talking about the elephants. That's not we're gonna, what we're going to get into in today's episode, because I kind of know what I want to do with that area. I kind of know how I'm going to plan that. I am slowly, slowly, uh, you know, putting a plan together. But there's a few little spots on the way to the African area that I think need filling. We're going to talk about that uh, towards the end of today's episode, my friends. I do just want to sh uh, say as well that I know I said when I was putting this series together, I was going to be showing you the plans and stuff that I was drawing up. Unfortunately... I didn't have time to, you know, put a graphic drawing together to represent the uh, the new part that I've built today in a similar fashion to how I did with the entrance. Big thing was just time. I didn't have enough time. I haven't actually finished what I've built today. Uh, all of the exteriors are finished, but the interiors are not. But anyway, my friends, let's make a move over to what we've been building. Now, we're actually not going to be bothering going through the entrance of the zoo because in today's episode, it's all about the backstage. And this, my friends, is exactly what I'm on about. This is what I have been building. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we did last episode and uh, I put the flamingos into the zoo and uh, you, you, all your amazing comments were coming in. I absolutely love it, by the way. And you all seem to really, really like the look of the flamingo habitat. So I'm over the moon. I'm really, really over the moon uh, that you like it so much. But what I started to think about was if those flamingos get sick, why I'm kind of like building away. I don't have any vets. I don't have a quarantine. I don't have anything. I don't have any of that stuff. So I thought we best get... The first of our animal hospitals in the zoo. You will remember, I'm going to actually throw it up on the screen uh, right now, my friends. You will remember this plan from way back when. And this is kind of like, it marks up all the emergency exits. It marks up where I anticipated the backstage areas were going to go. And uh, obviously, I started to think about this and started to think that maybe we should finish off at least one of those backstage areas before I start, you know, throwing more animals into the zoo and making it really complicated for myself. So that's exactly what I've done, basically. Um, this smaller backstage area here is going to house a small animal hospital. We're going to have our trade, uh, you know, our trade facility. So basically, I've, I've built it so it looks like an office building. Uh, I'll show you that today. And we're also going to have the first of many, many animal kitchens. Uh, I haven't got to round to building that in today's episode but i will be sure to get that done and get it thrown into next episode the reason for this being as i've already said my day job's kind of taken president at the moment it's kind of taken over because i've got lots of work and you know obviously that's how i keep a roof over my head but also the animal hospital itself actually took a very long time to build because i didn't have a plan to work from i kind of had an idea of what i wanted to do but i didn't have anything to work from so um yeah it's 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 been complicated ladies and gentlemen but let's jump into this let me show you what i've been doing now you will remember uh, this backstage basically just used to come to about here. We have this, uh, we've got this uh, security building here, and we've got this sort of warehouse 
um, here. We did temporarily have, uh, you know, a, a kitchen facility and we had our trade facility here. I just kind of bung them in, didn't I? Because we had our flamingos um, in last episode. But uh, since then, I've basically just been doing lots and lots of work about with the back lot area, with the backstage stuff. Um, lots of you like this. You really, really do like this. I get lots and lots of questions about how I managed to put my back lot areas together. Um, you know, I am thinking about doing another how-to video. Uh, I'll link the last how-to above, actually, because it is to do with billboards, and I know lots of people were asking about them. You've probably already seen it, but feel free to check that out as well, my friends. But yeah, I might do a how-to on how I plan my back uh, stage and my back lot areas. But you will see, we've finished off all the road markings. We did actually have a uh, fence in along here, but it, it didn't feel right. It really didn't feel right. I've opened this all up. Um, and I think eventually uh, we're going to have uh, a fence like along and uh, down here, basically. And this, 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 I don't really want to go much further than this with the back lot, because obviously this is a city zoo and we don't have the most room uh, to work with anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to bring this road round. We're going to bring it right to the edge. And we'll bring it up to about here and we'll bring this road to here but we'll probably join them as well uh, and there'll be two service gates basically and that's where one of the emergency exits is actually going to be is where this service gate is uh, and I kind of want the road to go round the perimeter of the zoo if possible I've been looking at lots and lots of zoos on google maps and uh, they all kind of do this um this uh, particular design if it's not a road it's usually a star footpath and stuff like that so that's exactly what I'm going to try to do because as you all know I try to emulate uh, the realism uh, as much as I can. So yeah, we've got our one road going off this way. We've got one road going off this way. Um, I think that when we come round here, I will have parking facilities for larger vehicles. Um, what I do want to say, and I do want to make a point about this animal hospital before I get into it, because obviously I'm all about creating the narrative as well. This is the small. This is the smaller of two animal hospitals that we are going to have in this zoo. This one isn't client facing so this one is not you know our, our, our guests and our patrons will not be able to see this facility this is locked away my plan eventually is over you know at the back is to have a much larger animal hospital and have part of that to be accessible to the guests i know there's lots and lots of zoos that have actually got this facility where the guests can actually go in and look through glass and they can actually see what's going on in say like the research hubs and some of the surgery rooms and things like that so i think that would be a really interesting thing to potentially do and so i'm going to do a bigger facility for that sort of thing so this one is a smaller facility and also this would be for the smaller animals as well i've not got any large rooms for you know for a for, for the bigger animals to be worked on and there's no large facility on the outside either to house such animals um, essentially i'm using the two quarantine rooms as kind of smaller sort of nursery rooms so basically where the animals are nursed back to health before they're taken back to exhibit so this is much this is a lot more for like the smaller animals basically just to keep creating that narrative and so you can start building the story uh with me as we go along um i do anticipate that in the next uh, few episodes i'm going to build a lot more narrative i know i've kind of strayed away from that a little bit but um you know i think the early stages of the zoo at the minute it's all about kind of getting the bits and bobs in i will save down animal hospital till last because genuinely i think that's the more impressive of the two buildings that i've done uh, but like i was saying ladies and gents this building here is our trade office so essentially this is the office building this is the administration building that deals with uh, animals coming and going in the zoo whether that be them being released to the wild whether that be us loaning an animal from another zoo or us trading animals uh, between zoos and stuff like that and this is going to be the office building that basically deals with it now i've tried to keep the piece count down i don't want to go crazy with the detailing with any of the buildings that are not client facing i think that would be silly because when we eventually do the zoo tours this would be the last stuff we look at i think all the stuff that's in the zoo near the animals has to be detailed immaculately i think that does have to be said i do think that there's going to need to be lots of nice little touches with all that stuff but back here i think we can get away with just keeping those detail levels down to a bare minimum so yeah, uh, obviously, as I say that, you will see custom windows, custom doors. I still want it to look nice, do you know what I mean? Especially as I am going to be releasing this to the workshop when this zoo is finished. Uh, lots of people have been asking about when the city is going to be up in the workshop. Uh, I've been too busy, basically, to get it ready to go on the workshop. But I will 
try my hardest to get it up there on the, in, in the next couple of weeks, uh, ladies and gents. But yeah, let's just dive on in. So in this building is very, very simple. What I've done is I've put a staff center in here. Um, I think that's really important because I think like I think people like our vets and stuff like that, they're going to be over in this area a fair amount. So I've put a staff center in here. And as we go around this way, this is the trade center building. And I've kind of put it in here and I just feel like this is a, is a, is a, a kind of like a really, uh, you know, a cool way to potentially, we could just describe this as say like a little, um, a little uh, storage room and stuff like that, basically. And that's kind of why I built it the way I did on the outside, because when you look at the animal hospital, I've kind of continued this sort of theme uh, over there as well. So uh, yeah, we can kind of treat it like that. And then as you come around here, there's another door. And if you was to go in here, this is kind of like the offices. Now, I've not done it now. I've not basically two reasons. One, I just didn't have the time to get around to doing any of the interiors. As you can see, there's no lights. There's no details on the walls. Uh, it is all very, very plain in here at the moment. But secondly, I kind of want to save those pieces uh, for now while we're in the early stages of the build. I just feel like throwing in a load of desks and a, and a load of lights and things like that in these rooms uh, when we could probably use those pieces elsewhere um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense so I'm just going to hold off on doing these uh, interiors for now I might stick the lights in because I think when we get those nighttime shots and the light through the window and stuff I think that does look really really nice but as for the other bits and bobs I might just hold back obviously I know I've put things like fire extinguishers and stuff like that in because it was easy I've already got those made but uh, other bits and bobs where it's got to be a bit more custom uh, I've just decided to hold back but overall I think it's it's turned out quite nice I think it's a nice little building and it's it's a good way to kind of explain away the whole trade uh, element uh, of the game as well rather than it just being that tiny little box building that you get uh, I've thrown it into its own kind of administration building uh, I've carried on this theme with these ladders so that uh, you know mechanics can get up on the roof and you know make sure they maintain the roofs and the solar panels as we are going very green in this zoo um and then yeah you come around the back and obviously that's a that's a custom window and that's not so you can see how close i managed to get them um i'm, I'm really happy with those little custom windows and then you come around here and it's all sort of kind of like pathways and whatnot that will go here there and everywhere in the backstage area just slowly kind of like piecing it together uh so that it actually works um so if we come over this way uh, you will then see the animal hospital, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm really, really happy with the way this has turned out. Uh, bit, I'm in an R in a little bit about the detailing on the outside. I built this white building that feels very, very clinical. Uh, I tried a few little designs on the outside, but then again, I kind of thought to myself, I'm using pieces for the sake of using pieces. I don't really need to. The white building looks quite nice. I detailed up the roof and then we threw in a few little metal pieces here and there. And it just feel like, it changed it up a little bit. The minute I started putting the plant in any, anyway, it didn't feel so plain and so clinical. But I actually think that um, it's turned out really nice. So the way this works as well is obviously you can come in this way. Uh, so you can actually come in this way down here. Or you can go around this way. There's no like real sort of direction that the cars travel in. The, the roads are wide enough uh, to kind of accommodate two smaller vehicles and one large vehicle. That's kind of how I've done it. Um, zoos don't like to waste loads and loads of space on this stuff so i've decided not to either uh, and just to explain this as well this this lining that i'm using i see this in an industrial site and i thought this really clever so basically the whole industrial site was essentially roads it was just uh, all of the warehouses were just placed in you know strategic places but it was all road and what they did is because there was no pavement and no raised areas for people to walk they put lines on the floor with little people in those you know representing that those were walk zones cars can still drive over them if there's no people there and if they need if they need to go around cars and things but if there's people then obviously they know to look out for them and so that's why i've done it because this is very much you know all road uh there's not too many raised areas until you come over to the animal hospital and i thought it was a really cool way and i've actually placed all of the staff paths like along those lines as well so we will see our staff walking about uh on these lines and stuff and it does look really really good i've already seen it because we've had a few problems with the uh, flamingos and the vets have been on the case. Uh, all the lighting's in. I've started putting like little bollards in as well in certain places. I think that, you know, potentially you'd want to protect people in case they were walking about and there were big vehicles and stuff moving around. Uh, I do plan to put lots and lots of custom boards around here to, you know, for CCTV. And, uh, you know, I want to do 
directional signs for the staff the same way that I have the guests as well. So I want to point out which direction the animal hospital is, the administration building, kitchen, etc, etc. That's kind of how I want to do it. So yeah, we come round here and uh, not quite finished off this little path round here. I am obviously going to bring this round and uh, join it up to that. Uh, and join it up to this piece over here uh, and then i've just put in a small amount of parking basically because the way you've got to look at it people that work in the administration building they're not really going to go anywhere else they'd probably have you know their parking spots there and the same could be said for the vets and whatnot so we have got a few parking spots and obviously they could be used for maybe like an emergency if case an animal was sick and they just needed to rush it straight in uh, to the animal hospital so let's take a little look and a little dive in to the animal hospital. So first and foremost, this is the design. This is kind of what I've done. I was kind of looking at the zoo and I realized that everything was very flat again. I love doing flat roofs because I just think that aesthetically there's so much more pleasing on the eye. That's just a personal thing. But I wanted to make sure that we started to get some shape and some height and some depth in the zoo. So I changed it up a little bit with this roof design. It's actually inspired by the roof design that I was doing on the animal hospital in um in jammy conservation park which unfortunately we had to get rid of because of the issues that we had with that um but it's actually inspired by that and it's nice that i've been able to kind of reuse that design because i do think it looks really really cool so uh front of the building ladies and gentlemen as you come up uh to the entrance you will see you are met with the logo now i changed this little square indent um about 10 times i tried so many different designs and i i'm still if i was gonna rate it out of 10 i'm probably about an 8 out of 10 i'm still not 100 like happy with it but it's the best thing that i've done so far this does need just moving up a little tad it's not quite center um but um, but you can see kind of like what I'm going for. Uh, tried writing Animal Hospital and stuff, but the gap just isn't big enough with the fonts and stuff that are in the game. Uh, and I didn't want to start using small custom fonts because you can't change the color and things like that. So yeah, just steer clear. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we've got our pitched roof, but the roof is, you know, it's, it is pretty cool the way the roof is. So the actual physical kind of like covered section of the roof is there and that's kind of represents where the building is. And then we've just got these extended parts on the outside side that are pretty much really they're just you know for decoration and just for you know aesthetical purposes but i just feel like the blend of the two comes together really really well um and uh, we obviously carry that design all the way around and i will show you that ladies and gentlemen so let's dive on into the building so i can tell you which which each bit represents but obviously as i've already said i've not done the interiors um so as you're first to come into the building i do plan on putting some seats uh along here and you know some potted plants and stuff just to kind of liven the area up uh you know at a later date this here was going to be like um this is going to be a board uh, to basically tell you which you know where to go so uh you know through here is where all the surgeries and the quarantines and the recovery rooms are uh these these here are gonna these are representing toilets so this is a, a he's and hers toilet that is inside the facility and then up here this is kind of like a boardroom this is like a meeting room so you know if there's anything going on uh the vets and the, uh, and so on can all sit here with the keepers and they can talk over what's going on with certain animals and whatnot uh so yeah eventually we'll have like a tv up on the room like so it can be used for conferences as well and we'll have a big table in the middle with some uh with some seats and stuff um and essentially that's that's kind of like what it's representing uh i put these on the wall because i was thinking about putting a couple of like um you know doing some images and then putting some frames on them so it looked like they were photos basically on the wall just to kind of liven this area up but again this interior a bit like the other one i decided to hold back because it's just pieces we would be using and we wouldn't really take too much notice on uh, notice of again as you can see just going a bit wild with the floor designs because that's just what i do uh, and as for the ceiling it's slightly pitched in here it's not like blatantly obvious but uh, just wanted to give it a little bit of shape and a little bit of detail 
So as we come through here, uh, ladies and gents, this is where, like, basically, this is where the surgery and the X-rays and all that sort of stuff uh, takes place uh, in this section. So we've got, uh, we've got two, two, uh, what I've done is I put two veterinary clinics in here because then, uh, and we've got two vets. So then, obviously, they can service lots of animals that are close by because we do have to think about this sort of thing. Uh, I've left this little gap here. I thought this would be a prime place to put like trolleys and crates and things like that that the animals are bought in. Uh, in on and stuff um, so yeah that's that's that basically it really is that simple uh, if we come up this way these are storage units these are like uh, storerooms basically and I'll show you the outside uh, in a moment but we've got two storerooms here and then we've actually got an entrance towards the back of the building and all and there's more sort of space here we could probably put some bits and bobs uh, you know inside uh, should we wish but i'll take you outside before we go around the other way so you can see uh this part of the building at the back so as, as i've already said i kind of like used a different design process uh back here we use this like kind of metal piece so it looks like it's almost like an extension on the old building uh, and then we've got doors on the outside to those storage rooms as well so if i just dive in you can see it is what it says in the tin it's just you know empty rooms because i've not done all the interiors but i think these would be cool places to keep you know, lots and lots of stuff, you know, racking systems with boxes and all sorts of things on uh, that, you know, the zoo could use in the area and that would service uh, the actual animal hospital itself. So let's dive on back in, ladies and gents, as we come around uh, this way. And as uh, we've already done this bit, you go through this door next. And as you go through this door, this is essentially where the quarantine rooms have been put. So that's what these doors are. And that's kind of what they represent. But, you know, we're going to treat this as like the nurseries and the recovery rooms, basically. This is where the sick animals, after a potentially like an operation or whatever, they would go in. And like I've already said, because these are smaller animals, you have to imagine inside those rooms, lots and lots of different crates and things like that. Again, I I could have done all this i could have you know built all this up and you know made it actually look how i'm describing but it takes up lots and lots of pieces and i want to release this on the workshop and i know that not everyone's got the greatest of pcs and just wouldn't be able to run it again no lights and things i've not not done any of that um i would like some signage out here as well you know clipboards and things like that uh on the walls i think would look really really cool just to kind of give it some detail but we will hold fire and do that at a later date we now go out of this door, which is another door at the back, basically. So we've got two. We've got one uh, just around there, and we've got this one uh, here. And uh, this is the back of the building. And the back of the building is actually a lot more impressive, in my opinion, than the front. And I maybe should have done it the other way around, but... I do just think this looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, we've done this roof and I've just done this big sort of overhang uh, section of roof uh, to kind of finish it all off uh to uh you know like because essentially like this is where the building is so i didn't want to carry that roof design on as i've already explained so we just kind of finished it off uh in this design uh we obviously needed a couple of supports because it is such a big piece of roof i've kind of connected this bit to the building but i am thinking that maybe this sh this should have been here and around the other way but I've done a bit of reading. You'd get away with this. This is structurally sound, trust me, because there's lots and lots of struts kind of in the wall uh, looking after it. I've also put a backup generator outside at the back here. Obviously, this is a facility that would need to make sure it had power at all times. So if there was uh, a problem with that, there's a backup generator uh, that will be, you know, kind of looked after and will service the facility should it ever be needed. Uh, I do like the way all the windows are here on the back of the facility it as well i do think the back looks really really cool uh, i think it looks like great basically i'm really really happy with it and if we come around this way uh essentially i just put in some smaller windows uh those are for those recovery rooms that we were talking about um a minute ago and then if we just take a look at the roof i have stayed like with the green energy and whatnot lots and lots of solar panels on the top of this building uh continuing on with that design of the walkways uh for the mechanics and stuff to basically service all these areas uh with the um with the ladder and stuff up the back as well and uh yeah that's pretty much it ladies and gents you know i haven't had much time to build um you know this week because of everything that's been going on i managed to get this smashed out in about a day and a half actually um so i'm really happy with the with the progress that i made but as you can see there's just so much stuff that's really really unfinished and it's uh it's a little bit unfortunate but 
it's just one of those things. Uh, another thing I want to just bring to your attention as well is that uh, the outer perimeter of the zoo now, I've put it, I basically carried on this wall design. So we've got a very kind of like low version of the wall here, haven't we? And then I went higher where the bridge was there. Um, I decided to carry that the wall on here. I might not do it like all the way along i think the wall might be a bit harsh to do all the way along but definitely where these backstage areas are especially where these staff only areas are i think the wall makes a bit more sense um and uh i'm not i don't want to do this all the way along because it's lots and lots of pieces but i, I built this like guard rail uh basically and i put it over here because someone did make a point about you wouldn't want anyone jumping up the wall in and then falling down uh that big old gully where the uh where the um, tunnels are basically so yeah basically put that in there but we might use that in some places uh, around the zoo uh, elsewhere as well might be a good you know good thing to use but this this wall's a lot higher couldn't see uh, you know many people being able to jump the wall and get in and we do have the security point there anyway but yeah do let me know what you make of the animal hospital and the administration building i'm really really happy with it um obviously it still needs a little bit of uh of um you know detailing and whatnot done but now that i've got this in i really want to move on uh next episode and start putting in more animals i think you know as far as the backstage is concerned we've got quarantine units we've got uh we've got our veterinary clinics uh we've got our trade center we've got plenty of staff facilities uh we do have the kitchen and uh just to kind of explain that as well i'm going to put that building in here basically i'm basically going to put a bigger one of these i'm going to get rid of the small one and put the larger one in and then we'll put like a little storage room on the side and then hopefully that can be used to kind of service the flamingos and potentially some of the animals that end up, you know, over here. We, we, I'm still really not sure what's going to go where because we're still slowly planning all this stuff, uh, ladies and gents. But yeah, uh, let me know what you make of that. I'd really appreciate all your feedback, um, you know, on what you make of it. Uh, leave all those in the comment section below. But let's jump into the next bit, my friends, because there's lots and lots to talk about today. Okay, my friends, so I'm going to finish today's ep episode here. Um, I basically, I want to talk to you guys about something I was um, that I mentioned uh, to the guys on the Discord, uh, basically. Um, I do, you know, the link to my Discord is in the uh, description box below. I should bring that to your attention first and foremost because um, I know, you know, I, I do mention my Discord every single, uh, you know, episode and whatnot, but people still ask, you know, where can I find your Discord, Dan? Uh, so, yeah, feel free to go check that out. It's in the description box should you want to join. And there's a section in there for Tropical Wings like, uh, and Jammy Conservation Parks. We talk about the projects uh, on there a lot. And especially this zoo because i'm not relying on you guys as much i can just kind of like reveal the progress uh, a lot more and it's nice as well because if i ever have a week like last week where i didn't get an episode out and it was a bit delayed you still get to see what i'm doing and the progress that i'm making and one of the big things that i was asking the guys on the discord about anyway to get back to my my original point is what to do with this area basically because we are going to be working our way to this tunnel and then I would imagine there's going to be quite a lot of episodes we're going to spend on this area here because I have come up with a name uh, for this area um, but it's all going to be part of the narrative so I'm not going to give it away now but I've come up with a name I kind of know what I want to do with it I think it could be really really cool I think it could work like really well for this to kind of be like the African area uh, of the zoo as well so um, but but we were talking about this and we were saying that rather than leaving all this dead space, why don't we work around to that part there? So we essentially get all of this filled in um, and then we work over there and then we can just, you know, ignore this then and we can go over here and work on this space. But in order to do that, I kind of need to start coming up with some ideas and I need to start thinking about what i want to do with these areas now over here i am going to put some more kind of backstage stuff in i'm going to put maybe like a like a fake little sort of uh you know mechanics 
tool shed type thing and like a little mechanics like uh building uh you know in here to kind of like uh, join up with this probably put in another you know kitchen like a smaller kitchen to service the animals that would be around this area uh and then we'd probably put some planting in i i put a guest toilet i'd like to put a guest toilet uh in here and potentially like a small uh, you know kind of like restaurant uh, as you're about to go into the new African area because um, the only restaurant we've got is our little coffee house at the moment uh, so I do think we would probably need some form of eatery uh, over here so I know like some stuff I want to put in but the animals I'm a little bit stuck on and uh, so the big thing here this is the bit that I want to talk about the most so as you can see I've started putting in this um this walled, uh, this like brick design here. And essentially this is how I'm making uh, these planters, basically. I'm putting in that on the floor and then rather than having to just mulch over everything and use loads and loads of pieces, we're just using the ground this time. So as you can see, I've gone all the way up to there. I've gone to here and I'm probably going to take that to about here. And then we're going to join up to that on a diagonal, basically. And I'd like to then see this piece of path here, bring that path and bring it down this way to there and then on the other side of that path i would love to put an animal and basically what i was asking on the discord is what animal do you think we should go with now there were lots of amazing suggestions that were put out um there were a couple i didn't like because i uh, i felt like we were copying um the entrance to jammy a little bit um someone did mention uh, lemurs so i mentioned uh camels but we did that we've already done that with jammy where the flamingos the camels and the lemurs are all very close together so i kind of want to avoid them but there were some other animals mentioned the otters were mentioned uh the um red pandas were mentioned um there were the doll uh dogs were mentioned but i'm not sure about them because i don't know if we're going to do like an asian area this is the trouble i think that because there's certain bits I've planned and there's other bits I haven't, it's really difficult for me to kind of put my finger on it. But what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I am going to put a poll on the community page. And I'm going to list all of the animals that you guys suggested on the Discord so that then the wider community can get involved and you can vote on the one you think would look good here. Now, please, 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 I love you guys getting involved, but please think about... Um, you know the realism you know because obviously certain animals are higher ticket animals than others you've got to think about the flow of our guests do you want them all to be stuck at the entrance because there's a really unbelievable animal there or do you just want it to be you know uh you know kind of like one of those animals like this is what we've got now go in further and find out more so do obviously think about realism think about the way that the guests are going to move and think about the type of animal that you think would be near the entrance of a zoo as well some zoos are really brave, like Chester Zoo, for instance. The first, the first animal you see at Chester Zoo, uh, whether you believe it or not, is their uh, Asian elephants, which is unbelievable to me. That's just a, such a mad, huge animal that you would see uh, when you first enter the zoo. And I know there's plenty of other zoos that have gone with higher ticket animals as well. I think there's one zoo in America that have got their kind of like orangutans and monkey kingdom right at the, right at the beginning. But obviously, we're going a bit more low-key and we're saving the big stuff uh, further on in the zoo because we want to be able to drag our guests in um, so yeah let me know which animal you think from the poll uh, i'm not sure if i can link it if i can you will find a link above if not head over to the community page when this episode is finished and let me know what animal you think we should have right here at the entrance next to the flamingos to welcome our guests in as we work basically our way around to the african area there's going to be plenty and plenty of animal suggestions i'm going to ask you guys for to work our way around to it i'm sure of it um and i will just really appreciate every little bit of feedback that you give me now you can go and vote on the poll or you can leave your comment below if there isn't an animal that you think might work uh on that poll suggested um i will consider all of your suggestions my friends i really appreciate it Let's wrap this one up, shall we? And so there you have it, my friends. We are done and dusted for another episode of Tropical Wing Zoo. I thank you all for joining me once again. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I know it wasn't, you know, one of those super exciting episodes where I reveal a new animal and we get to see uh, that sort of thing. But the backstage areas are just as important as the stuff that's, you know, guest facing and in the zoo. Trust me, especially when you're going for realism, things like animal hospitals and that, they are majorly, majorly important. And uh, I needed to kind of put that stuff in anyway way but as so we can work towards where 
those emergency exits and where you know our guest facing stuff is going to be over near that corner as well but yeah i really appreciate you joining me if you are new to the channel my friends please consider hitting that subscribe button drop me a like on the video if you've enjoyed it as well the more likes we get the more likely i am to find myself in people's suggested videos and then more people and more eyes will hopefully come and see my little channel in this small pocket of the internet um my friends as well be sure to check out the description box for all of the socials the discord that i've already mentioned as well and be sure to keep your eyes peeled on the channel on monday i know i said sunday but on monday jammy conservation park returns i'm absolutely buzzing to bring it back and uh yeah keep your eyes peeled on monday for that my friends uh, if the poll goes well and I have some time, the next episode of uh, Tropical Wings will be next week as well, my friends. So, uh, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled for more amazing content, more zoo builds and uh, all the other good stuff that we put out here on a weekly basis. But until then, my friends, you make sure you stay safe, stay humble and I will see you on the next one.